I'm Dana Scott, here with Rick Morin, here to talk about the Diamondbacks entering the All-Star break. Yeah, they ended up with a game above 500 after this weekend sweep of the Rockies. What do you feel that they stand now at the All-Star break? Yeah, they're not dead yet, that's for sure. Uh, you know, that sweep of the Rockies was big for a couple of reasons. This is a team that has struggled at home this season. They've struggled against the NL West this season. They've, you know, struggled in a lot of ways in general this season, but they end the first half with a big sweep over a division rival at home. That's big momentum for them going forward. That also leapfrogs them over the Rockies in the NL West standings as well as the wild card standings. So Diamondbacks are still very much alive in this race. I think there's a couple things they got to get sorted out. They're still looking for a little bit of help in the starting pitching department. Uh, the bullpen has still been a little bit shaky. Greg Holland uh, got two consecutive saves the last two games of that Rocky series, but he looked a little shaky doing it. So uh, definitely the bullpen something to keep an eye on, but uh, some, some injured bodies hopefully going to come back soon in the second half, and uh, the Diamondbacks are... It uh, looks like there's a little bit of a soft spot in the schedule in September where they could take advantage of some uh, some less than stellar talent on the schedule. So uh, we'll see what happens, but certainly some good momentum going forward. How would you evaluate Tori Lavello's management style? Yeah, I think Tori Lavello's management style is, uh, I think, left a little bit desired uh, for some fans out there. But uh, I think a lot of fans out there, maybe they don't know the whole picture. I mean, I think Alex Young certainly is on everybody's mind. Uh, had six no-hit innings on Sunday, was pulled from the game. I think a lot of fans wanted uh, Young to go back out, and they certainly let Tori hear about it from behind the dugout. But, I mean, you're talking about a guy, right, uh, who has, hasn't pitched more than five innings in a game this year, uh, threw 23 pitches five days prior. So, I mean, and there was, it was a really close game. It was a one nothing game, I think, when they were deciding to take him out. So a lot of factors moving, went into that, and I think a lot of Fans might be a little uh, disappointed with the bullpen usage, sticking with Greg Holland, sticking with Archie Bradley, and sticking with even Zach Godley earlier in the season. Uh, but of course, uh, I think it all—it's not really about how you start, it's how you finish. So you know, if these guys can pick it back up, he's going to look like a genius for sticking with them, right? For Rick Moore, I'm Dana Scott. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to AZC Sports on YouTube.